All right, sweeties, how are you doing? Welcome to Naira Sim. And thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. You all remember what happened between Jasmine and uh, Marjorie Teller Green. And uh, there was an interview uh, whereby Jasmine actually said that she does not have any regret over what she told Marjorie Teller Green. And I absolutely, I am standing behind her. There was no need for regrets because she was provoked. And while all this was going on, I mean, she was, uh, Marjorie Teller Green was asked to apologize and she said she would never apologize, right? That is another provocation. There is something like you provoke somebody and then you find out that you are uh, at fault and apologize. But to her, she did not do anything wrong. So how do you people want uh, Jasmine to have regrets? On behalf of her, she has no regrets. And I heard people saying that pop color people are out there saying that uh, Jasmine is an angry woman. You all already know what happens when a black woman tries to speak up or stand up for herself, especially when she is the only person in the room. Mind you, Jasmine was the only black woman in that room, right? And nobody actually wanted to stand up for her and uh she stood up for herself and that is something that i love so much that she stood up for herself against magitella green and i hope that she learned her lesson because next time you provoke a black woman trust me she is coming back for you you know what let's get into this video bad belt butch body which i had to look at my notes to read um any regrets about that kind of language especially given that you were trying to make a point, uh, frankly, about decorum in the hearing room. I have no regrets. And I'll tell you why. Because Marjorie Taylor Greene is the type of person that if you give her an inch, she'll take a mile. And the fact that they continue to allow her to break the rules of decorum over and over and over, whether it's the State of the Union that the president is delivering and she's wearing a MAGA hat or otherwise, the reason that she didn't have committee assignments before was because she did not know how to conduct herself as a member of Congress. And so if I just sit there and say, oh, well, Marjorie said it about me, what's to stop her to continue to do it again and again? And at the end of the day, I was elected as a representative of Congress, but that doesn't mean that I'm supposed to be somebody's doormat. But Michelle Obama famously said, when they go low, we go high. Are, are they, those days basically over? Um, I don't know that we can even call this a low. I mean, she goes to hell, and then I do my best to remind her as to why she should not cross me. Bloop. Bleach blonde, bad built, butch body. 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 Good morning. I'm up early on this Sunday morning. Happy Sunday. I got to do some grocery shopping and I decided since I want to save a little bit of money, I'm going to do my grocery shopping at the Walmart. And whenever I go to Walmart, I have to go at the butt crack of dawn. I'm sure many of you know why. Anywho, since I'm up early, I was doing some scrolling and I came across a word. And I want to share this word with you all. Good morning. Got your coffee. Let's do a morning coffee today because I want to talk about that video I did about um, white women and how harmful they are uh, to black women in the workplace, not just the workplace. Um, as some have pointed out, we were speaking about the workplace specifically because of um, the dialogue that was going on about um, Marjorie Taylor Greene and Jasmine Crockett. So that's why I said the workplace specifically. I know that white women are harmful to black women everywhere they go in every space that we try to exist in. I don't need anybody to tell me that. Um, all, but I want to talk about how many white women came into my comment, white women who I'm sure count themselves as not being racist, who felt the need to tell me it's not all y'all the fact of the matter is there are more of you that can be ignored and that's why so many black women chose the bear or the white man uh, to come into the office and not white women because you all have a history of being that uh, problematic and that harmful and that dangerous and that violent in the workplace towards black women we saw it play out 
in within our very own Congress. My platform, it's a very pro-black space. And so what I will not be doing is I will not be making whiteness comfortable. And the fact that you are entering my space, a very pro-black space, and again, pro-black doesn't mean anti-white. It just means that this space puts black people first. Because this country doesn't, and it never has, and it probably never will. And black people need a space to exist and be free in order to have dialogue and discussions with one another. And the fact that so many white women are coming to this space and asking me to change it in order to make them feel comfortable tells me that you all are not as far along in your anti-racism, liberalism as you think you are. You have not done the work of deconstructing your own racism. You are, in fact, the same type of white woman that Marjorie Taylor Greene is. You don't like the words that are coming out of a black woman's mouth, and so you attempt to police her. You attempt to force her to put you and your feelings above her own and that of her community. And while you may not be a overt racism at the very least it makes you a covert racist and you're just not self-aware enough to see that and this is exactly why i don't allow too many white women to follow me because the moment you all start centering like you did in that video i block you the moment you start making trying to attempt to make me make you feel better about being here you got to go. The moment you start suggesting that I should be grateful that you are here, you got to go. The moment that the truth about racism is being spoken here and you get in your feelings, you got to go. Hey. It's not my job to make you feel better, and I'm not going to do that for you. If you are too fragile to handle the truth about how harmful white women have been to black women, if you are too fragile to hear the truth about how harmful white people have been to black people, if you are too har too fragile to hear the truth about how harmful racism is to black people, this is not the space, the platform. I'm not the person for you to follow. No one over here is going to lie for you. No one over here is going to tap to tiptoe uh, around your feelings. No one over here is going to tap dance for you. Your feelings are not my concern, and I don't care about your tears. And that's just the truth. Y'all have a good day. Now, to be clear, I wholeheartedly support my sister's message this morning. Mm -hmm. I approve it from the ruta to the tuta. Uh -huh. The only difference is, is that sometimes I'll make time to try to make a dollar off of you white women that get down in my comments to center yourselves and your feelings and your thoughts and your opinions on black situations in a black space. Sometimes I'll try to make a buck off of you, but most times you get blocked. Y'all have a fantastic day. And then you go to the page and then you realize that they have no content. And so you have to debate with yourself whether you're going to respond to a blankless person that wasn't brave enough to speak from their actual page. Or are you going to block and delete? But at this present time, in this type of environment, in this energy, in this setting, you chose to use a blank page instead of using bravery to come from your real page. You're probably a mutual that know not to say something from your actual page. But I'm going to speak to you since you want to say that um, Jasmine Crockett was an angry black woman. Let me explain something to you and so many of you individuals that feel the need to place black women women in the category of anger. No, baby, my ancestors were angry. My ancestors, they were angry based off the treatment that they received from you children of the chalk. They were angry. But see, in the good book, 
It says, vengeance is mine, said the Lord, and here I am, vengeance. I'm not angry. Just because I respond to you and assert myself when I respond should not deem me angry. Because it's amazing that I was in my own presence, I was in my own energy, minding my business, and here you are trying to place a title where it is not warranted. And you're still not getting anger from me. And you're never going to see anger probably from Jasmine Crockett because one thing that you albino crickets can never, ever take away is that we're highly intelligent. And when you can't attack the intelligence of a black woman, you try to deem them angry. And as I said previously, my ancestors that were born on a plantation and hung and murdered, they were angry. I am vengeance. And I refuse for you to categorize me and place me or any black woman that asserts herself in a environment where she was not protected by any of her male colleagues. Not really. I heard one man. But where she was a lot, she had to sit and endure a blonde, bleach blonde, bad built, butch bitch, because that's what she wanted to say, come for her lashes, because she couldn't come for her intelligence, she could not come for her looks, because Jasmine Crockett is beautiful, so she thought that she could come for some lashes, and she fucked around and found out, so I'm gonna need for you, friend Corey, to go find you a safe space and you be blessed and you do better with yourself. Educate yourself because, baby, this is not it. And no, nor is this the year for you. This is not even the year for any of you, the rest of the child of the chalk. If you bring it, I'm going to give it back to you tenfold. And if you can't handle it, I suggest that you either scroll on, walk away, or shut the entire fuck up. Because all the fucks that were given, that were given, we gave you grace for years, decades. And now, now. You will understand that we are not to be played with. You will understand that you will respect us the same way you want to get it. In order to get it, you must give it. And if you cannot, you will get the same energy. See, me and you could be absolutely cool with each other. But see, it is up to you how this exchange of words will go. How this energy will go because I'm reciprocating energy and I employ all the rest of my melanated individuals to do the same. So with that, you be blessed and you be beautiful and you have a wonderful day and may my ancestors ancestors drag you through history good day Rocket is going viral for reading Georgia's trailer trash congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene for filth and rightfully so but if you love her now here's another reason why you should really love Jasmine Felicia Crockett and why you should re-elect her She's never taken money from APEC. She's not bought by the APEC. But you know who's taking donations from APEC? Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Mm-hmm. Oh, campaign dollars are public record. Just quick Google search and you'll see for yourself. For the people who are like, oh, I'm not going to vote this year, I would seriously reconsider that, considering that three quarters of the Senate and the House of Representatives is up for re-election, and they're the ones who is making everybody's lives a very difficult situation at this present moment in time. Now, I get that you feel what you feel when it comes to the presidential election, but the presidential election ain't got shit on the House and the uh, Senate because they're the purse holders. They are the lawmakers. They're the most important branch in government. Like, I really wish y'all understood how the government is ran because if you do not vote this coming November and you let the Republican Party take over the House and the Senate, I'm going to need y'all to have several seats and shut the fuck up.
want to keep crying about Project 2025, and y'all don't even realize that it's the legislative branch that is pushing Project 2025. So y'all need to get your asses up there and vote. If not, just shut the fuck up, okay? Y'all just be complaining just for the fuck of complaining, and y'all making content for the fuck of making content. Just to be like, well, it was me, and I'm the victim. There's so much to be said about that exchange and how it just exemplifies so many tenets of white supremacy, which we are learning about over on White Woman Whispers Patreon page shameless plug but it's the calm down it's she picked a fight that she couldn't win and then oh my god calm down you're being so irrational you're being so uppity right like it's it's the way she says calm down calm down that moral authority that tone policing when we all know good and well it's recorded marjorie taylor green picked that fight but she's acting like jasmine crockett started it when Jasmine was really just being the voice of the people. So this is all I got from this, and I absolutely love it. I love every bit of what Jasmine did. She already did a great job with the raid, because how do you start what you will not finish? First of all, Marjorie Taylor Greene started by provoking her because that is an act of provocation and she responded and then she started by calm down calm down calm down like what what was she gonna do like she is already mad now let me tell this this is to tell you how like when black women actually said that they do not want to work with palm color women this is one of the reasons because these are the things that black women may have experienced that made them say that I would never want to work with them. Number one is that they are very quick to provoke a black woman because they feel like you are not going to say anything or you are not supposed to talk about it, right? But right straight up in front of her face, she got what she deserved. And now she is looking for a way to... Now, I love the fact that Jasmine said that she does not have any regret. And there is no need for that regret because she actually, Marjorie Taylor Green actually started that first. Now, I am also urging everybody like, you know, to make sure that the next coming election, you vote for Jasmine. She is smart. She is intelligent. She is a great speaker. I mean, she's been out there helping black people and making sure that the truth always come out. I love her strength. I love her courage. I love everything about her. So make sure you vote her in in the next election, right? And also, I love the fact that I, so far with everything that has been going on with her, APAC, you all already know how much APAC has bought so many people in the Congress, the senators and all of that. Trust me, uh, Jasmine has never collected anything from APAC and that shows how hardworking or how, I mean, like, you know, how do I say that? Like, you know, how straightforward she is because she knows that collecting money from APAC means that you are actually going to sell yourself or sell the truth because when you collect money from APAC, you stop speaking the truth because they have bought you over and you have to speak for them. So I am urging everybody to make sure you vote for her. And for everybody that think that black women are angry, I hope you experience what black women have been experiencing all these years. And I hope when you experience it, you are also going to keep quiet and not let, I mean, and not talk about it because a lot of people are always like, Black women are angry. She acted so angry. Wait, what do you do when people provoke you? I love the fight. She wasn't even angry. She actually responded to what Marjorie Taylor Greene did, right? And which is absolutely good for her. Next time, before you poke people, before you provoke people, I hope you are ready to receive the reactions from people. And that is the one of the reasons why when people provoke, people are so quick to see you mad, but they do not acknowledge what got you mad. It was actually their action that got you mad, but they would never speak up about their action, the what they did that made you mad or, put, or what they did that got you that upset to like, you know, put them back. And I hope that people... 
eventually becomes truthful because this is part of the reasons why people really need to be truthful to themselves. And before you tell other people's stories, make sure you tell your own story because all over now we are seeing that uh, uh, Jasmine actually called her bleach body bad, but, but, but people are refused to see what she did first that provoked Jasmine to say what she did. And when she was asked to apologize, she said she was never going to apologize. I love the fact that Jasmine does not have any record and that it's a period. I stand with Jasmine. I stand with black women. Next time you look for a way or next time you want to provoke a, bra a, a black woman, I want you to know that uh, you probably might get something yeah, a different reaction. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.